14 coverage now. Some punches were thrown today in the U.S. Senate election. Thad Cochran and Travis Childers were exchanging verbal blows. As 16 WAPT Scott Simmons reports, it's one of the few exchanges between the Republican and Democratic candidates. That we do not take light. They call it Hobnob, a gathering designed to promote business. But less than a week before Election Day, all eyes were focused on Thad Cochran and Travis Childers. Childers took exception to a pro-Cochran ad where the governor tied him to Harry Reid and the Democratic Party. Poor spoof on uh, trying to scare people uh, into making me someone that I'm not. He knows better than that. Look at my record. My record stands on its own, and my record clearly says that I am not a liberal. If he wants to deny knowing or supporting uh, the leaders of his party, uh, I'll give him every opportunity to go and do that. I've been working for the last 40 years for Mississippi, so I have a clear and well-known record. And my voting record is there for everybody to see. So. He's the one who doesn't have a record. We could ask him that. Some of the hardest punches thrown in this race between Thad Cochran and Travis Childers were actually thrown here, particularly dealing with the issue of no debates. We had hoped there would be at least a minimum of one debate per congressional district. And, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, our request went unanswered. Our letters went unanswered. But Cochran has said he would not debate Childers, and he referred to the debate question as pointless. Whatever he wants to demand, ask, request, is a little late. Comes a little late. It sounds a little like showboating and grandstanding to try to make it look like he's willing to do something I'm not willing to do. They're fooling themselves. Parting shots less than a week before we voters head to the polls. All right. For Commitment Thank 2014, you. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.